on the boy reactions. Hey guys, other boy reactions here. All right, so we are back with Doctor Who, season five, episode 10, Vincent and the Doctor. If you guys are enjoying my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like full reactions and early reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. All right, let's get started. Ooh, what's this? If you paint it, he will come. So Where's this Van Gogh? One of the last paintings Van Gogh ever painted. <gasps> we're gonna see Van Gogh. The final months of his life were probably the most astonishing artistic <laughs> outpouring in history. Bill Nye. It, and especially astonishing because Van Gogh did it with no hope Van Gogh. of praise or reward. Something very not good indeed. Something very not good. Look there in the window of the church. Oh, is what is that? Yeah. Do you know Vincent Van Gogh? <clears throat> Unfortunately. Nobody likes him. Unfortunately, he's what? drunk, oh. he's mad, and he never pays his bills. Wow. Good painter, though, eh? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think so back then. You pay money, or you get out. I'll pay if you like. He, that's pretty damn good. He looks very close. Exactly who are you? Hello, I'm the doctor. I knew it. Sorry? My brother's always sending doctors. But you won't be able to help. Oh, no, not that kind of doctor. What monster could have done this? Get away from us! Okay, get that madman out of here! Oh my god. They just blame him! Oh, fuck! Where are you staying tonight? Oh, you're very kind. <laughs> His bedroom. Come to accept the only person who's gonna love my painting is me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, really. That sucks. He doesn't even get to enjoy his, his fame. The average eyes are low to see. I believe if you look hard, there are more wonders in this universe than you could ever have dreamed of. I can hear the colors. Hmm. Listen to them. Every time I step outside, I feel nature is shouting at me. Come on, come and get me. Come on, come on, <laughs> capture my mystery. That's beautiful. Take it easy. Take it easy. What's happening? Oh, fuck. What's it doing? Run. Yeah. Run. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a bad idea. Okay. okay. Some kind of uh, you see something. You can't see it. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What the hell is that? Okay, he's gone. So he's invisible. What did he look like? I'll show you. Yeah, oh, paint it. No, no, no. Oh, I know. Okay. What is that? Oh, maybe you can see it. Oh my god! It's right there, dude. Maybe not that soon. It is hard to get fond of Vincent Van Gogh's snoring. <laughs> <laughs> There's the room. Wakey, wakey. You don't like sunflowers. <laughs> no, it's not that I, I don't like them. I find them complex. <laughs> Always somewhere between living and dying. This is a creature called the Crefaeus. This is the middle of Vincent van Gogh's greatest year of painting. If we're not careful, the net result of our pleasant little trip will be the brutal murder of the greatest artist who ever lived. Half the pictures on the wall of the Musée d'Orsay will disappear. I thought you can't change things that... This is a major event. But it will be our fault. And when you leave, and everyone always leaves, mm. I will be left once more with an empty heart and no hope. Come on, come out, come on, let's go out. Get out! Get out! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Everyone knows he's a delicate man. Just months from now, he'll he'll take his own life. You can tell. I hear the song of your sadness. Oh shit! You've lost someone, I think. I'm not sad. Then why are you crying? Oh my god. I'm Picasso, what a ghastly old goat. I kept telling him, concentrate, Pablo. It's one eye, either side of the face. <laughs> Quiet. Is this how time normally passes? <laughs> really slowly. Yes. Don't follow me under any circumstances. I won't. Well, that's not gonna happen. Will you follow him? Of course. Of course. <laughs> I love you. 
I'm definitely just using the screwdriver for screwing in screw. It's moving around the edges of the room. Oh, it can't get out of the church? Is it blind? I can't see it's blind. Oh. Yes, and that of course explains why it has such perfect hearing. Oh. What is it? I'm having trouble making it out, but I think he's saying I'm I'm afraid. He was frightened. And he lashed out. Like humans who lash out when they're frightened. Try to see what I see. Everywhere we look, complex magic of nature blazes before our eyes. Nothing quite as wonderful as the things you see. I will miss you terribly. <laughs> what is that? Which oh, one? No, no, no. Ah! I, could, I could never accept such an extraordinary gift. Very well. Well, you're not the first to decline the offer. Amy, the blessed, the wonderful. Oh, be good to yourself. And be kind to yourself. I'll try my best. And if you tire of this doctor of yours, return, and we will have children by the dozen. <laughs> <laughs> On my own, I fear I may not do as well. Hmm. Is he gonna show him? Well, brace yourself, Vinny. <laughs> no! This is what's gonna make him go insane. I don't know if this is a good idea. Oh, come on, I'm the crazy one. And you two have stayed sane. Things That'd be awesome if he was like a permanent a companion. Here, Are they going? Are they taking him? What the fuck? What are you doing? Are oh, he's we? showing him that he becomes famous. AD, and this is the mighty Musée d'Orsay, home to many of the greatest paintings in history. <gasps> Explain. Oh my god, he didn't see his name. Oh my god. think Van Gogh rates in the history of art. To me, Van Gogh is the finest painter of the world. He transformed the pain of his tormented life into ecstatic beauty. Pain is easy to portray, but to use your passion and pain to portray the ecstasy and joy and magnificence of our world, mm. no one had ever done it before. I'm sorry, is it too much? Yes, you're gonna make him go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tears of joy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Sorry about the beard. I don't know if that was a good idea. I'll step out tomorrow with my easel on my back, a different man. Then what happens? I still can't what believe happens? one of the haystacks was in the museum. How embarrassing. It's been a great adventure <laughs> and a great honor. You've turned out to be the first doctor ever actually to make a difference to my life. I'm delighted. I won't oh. ever forget you. <laughs> I'm not really the marrying kind. Oh. Who committed suicide at only what are they gonna do? seven. He is now acknowledged to be one of the foremost artists of all time. If you follow me now... Hmm. Well, she thought that he wouldn't have killed himself. We didn't make a difference at all. I would say that. The way I see it, every life is a, is a pile of good things and bad things. Hey. The good What's things not good enough? Don't always soften the bad things, but vice versa, the bad things don't necessarily spoil the good things or make them mm. unimportant. It's still we killed definitely himself. added to his pile of good things. Well, it's gone, Ellie. No graffiti. For Amy, does the actual painting really say that? 
If we had got married, our kids would have had very, very <laughs> red hair. Yes. The ultimate ginger. <laughs> the ultimate ginger. <laughs> <laughs> That was a cute one. Um, we needed a lighter one after the last two-parter. All I cared about was <laughs> them spending time with Vincent Van Gogh. Um, I really could have done without the fucking Crofeas thing. No, like, no. But this is Doctor Who. Um, but everything else was beautiful. Um, <laughs> I love that Vincent Van Gogh wanted to marry Amy and have kids with her. Um, great casting. I mean, my God, he looks just like Van Gogh, apparently, is how it's pronounced. Um, how sad that he still committed suicide. Um, well, I mean, this is, I mean, they can't, they can't change that. It's, it's, um... It happened. <laughs> um, I wonder what the real Van Gogh was like and um, how sad that he was just tormented by his own mind and his own time. I mean, he was... I wonder if a lot of... Um, I mean, I don't know all about Van Gogh, but I wonder if a lot of what he was dealing with could have been alleviated by being in a different time period. I mean, you know, um, I wonder if he was in our time, would he have fared better? But I don't know the extent of his his madness. He could have been just like, you know, batshit crazy. Um, but the way they portrayed him in the show was that, you know, he was just misunderstood and um, also being tormented by the Crofeus and seeing things that other people couldn't see. Um, but it was beautiful the way they, you know, the way he described how he saw the world and, you know, his, his gift was also his curse, which was sad. Um, I like what the doctor said at the end there, how, you know, the good doesn't necessarily soften the bad, but it doesn't mean th that the bad, you know, um, I don't know what his exact words were, but like basically that the bad doesn't cancel out all the good things that have happened in your life either. Um, you know, and that's kind of beautiful, but I mean, I, I know what Amy was thinking. She's still, she was thinking he still fucking killed himself. <laughs> um, that's sad. It's, it's sad, but, um, at least she got to see that she made a little bit of a difference by him painting something that he didn't necessarily necessarily like but he did it for her um you know according to this story um so you know in this in this story they made a difference a small difference um you know he painted those flowers for her and put her name on the vase what does the real picture look like is that there's because that's a real picture right the sunflowers Oh, so the real one, it just says Vincent on the vase, but they added the Amy for the show. That's cute, though. I think it's it's beautiful that, you know, they showed him that he becomes so famous and influential later on after he's gone, um, and that he's appreciated, you know, um, centuries after he's gone, and that he made a difference in the world, even though he, he, he couldn't see it before. Um... And he's not appreciated in his own time. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, like the 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 dark part of me feels like that could have contributed to his insanity because, in his own time, everyone fucking hates him. They think he's a piece of shit. Um, he's poor as fuck. He doesn't make any money. They think he's a terrible artist, but and now he has the knowledge that. After he's gone, only after he's gone will he be appreciated. I would go insane. I feel like, you know, they contributed to his insanity. They made him crazy. <laughs> and he killed himself. He cut off his ear because he knew that he would never have any, um, 
uh, fame in his own time. He would never be appreciated in his own time. Um, and he's gonna die poor. He's gonna die in that little that little apartment. <gasps> oh my god. Um, I feel like. I would go insane because of that. That's like what I'm taking from this. Like they, the doctor did it to him. <laughs> the, the doctor and Amy <gasps> made him crazy. Like they should never had, have taken him into the TARDIS, taken him to the 21st century. Um, they fucked him up for life, for the rest of his life. <laughs> That's just the cynical part of me, but um, it was still fun, um, but as soon as soon as the doctor took him into the TARDIS, I was like, "What are you doing? What are you doing? You can't do that to someone from from that time period. He doesn't even know what a car is. Like he's like, oh my god, um, no." And then the whirring sound came. I was like, "What are you doing? Are you actually gonna take him to a different time? You cannot do that, Doctor." Oh my god. Um I I'm I would really like to know what you guys think about that. Um <laughs> if you felt the same way or if you just think, oh like no, the doctor, you know I mean I know the doctor had good intentions, but I think that contributed to Van Gogh killing himself. <laughs> I know it's not real, but um Oh my god, that would mess me up for life. If someone took me centuries after my time, I see things that I'm not supposed to see, and I can only see it once, and I can never see it again, because he's never going to see the doctor again. Um, and I also see that I'm going to be famous later, after I die, but my life... My current life is going to continue to be shit. And there's nothing I can do about it. Um. <laughs> and then I have to go back to my life knowing that I've just seen all that and I can never see it again. Oh my god. I w yeah, I would fucking cut off my ear and I would kill myself. Oh my god. That is awful. Um, very interesting. Um, not my favorite episode, but it still had fun elements to it. Um, I really enjoyed seeing Van Gogh, and I like the actor that played him. Um, I like that Amy was his muse. And I, I even liked, um, you know, Bill, is it Bill Nye or Bill Nye? I never know how to pronounce his name. But I liked, um, his small part too, where, I mean, that was a very small part. I'm surprised he took that role. Um, but, um... I liked that, you know, he he got to meet Vincent van Gogh and he didn't even know it. Um, and he also said that he thought van Gogh was the greatest painter ever and one of the greatest men ever. And van Gogh got to hear that and um, someone finally appreciated him. It was beautiful. I love that moment when all three of them were just lying on the grass and looking up at the stars and you got to see his inspiration for like Starry Night and other paintings. Um, that was beautiful. But it's just sad knowing how his life is going to end. But um, yeah, that was my reaction. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like full reactions and early reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. Alright guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye.